ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू सिस्टम डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सिक्योरिटी वेन एवर वी डिजाइन एनी सिस्टम बाई डिफॉल्ट आवर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट दे कैन प्रोवाइड वन काइंड ऑफ reliability or confidence to the customer that whatever the system we are building they are secure or they follow the all the norms and regulations of security so security is the by default you can say a uh, responsibility of software engineer teams that can build that can provide but this is you can say not a specifically customer want hey this is the requirement our uh, applications our system must uh, be compliance with the security parameter so this is our responsibility as a system designer engineer uh, while designing system we have to consider all level of security we are required security is uh, you can say one of the key or complex uh, topics in the system designs okay because this feature by default inherited come in the systems even customer or any functional requirement mention or not mention we as a engineer system, uh, experience engineer our responsibility we have to tell customer our system whatever the building this level of security parameters they already reached any additional security parameter quality checks or something customer also want they can our system is capable to integrate those security parameter as well as so security you can say uh, not Uh, the topic where our application already build and after that you are going to apply security no security is started from the designing of system itself whenever you are designing systems at the same time you have to discuss designs the security parameter guidelines application frameworks and the level of security by default this is the myths or misconception that ki security can be integrated later part of the application development it's a very very uh uh not good ideas if you are building small poc kind of applications that's maybe it's work for you but whenever you are going designing a system that's a big enterprise applications and that's are your feature your visions for this system designs in couple of years from today couple of decade from today and notice due to the lots of technology in enhancement nowadays lots of security breach lots of threats lots of system due to the security breach lots of customers are lose business lost money millions of millions due to the security breach systems so this is our primary responsibility once you finalize your every designs before going to start development implementation anything let's finalize all your security guidelines so that your engineers who are going to implement your devops teams we are going to deploy your applications while in the maintenance phase how the security are in place so if in the initial times you are going to talk customer also rely on you yes our uh, engineering teams are capable to considering all the scenario system designs is not just to write the code and deliver to the customer 
overall core business of the system is write the code and finally deliver. But to such codes that generate business, that generate customer confidence, we as a system engineer, we have to do lots of lots of extra words. That is known as a NFR, non-functional requirement. Uh, security is also one of the key non-functional requirement we have to talk we have to finalize we have to decide right security is not just like uh, by default whenever talk security what comes in mind minds general security whenever you building applications i have provided the username and password anyone can go and log in the from username and password and after that access my application detail everything this is the most basics are minimum security parameters it is not complete uh, security implementation or guidelines right so whatever the system you designs what the layers what the component what the architecture you are following okay each layer each component we have to consider the security from the customer when customer going to access my applications from the front end levels we need the validations then our request go to the networks internet net internet net, internet and network level security then go to your applications web applications mobile applications at that level we have to apply securities then you are going to processing data we have to data level security you are storing some data somewhere data storage security so every layers where the applications flow of system going on each and every label places you have to consider the security guidelines parameter reason is that why when your system going to deploy it for the business and customer is going to rely any kind of data leakage or data interruptions someone hack your system someone interrupts your data this is the very very big questions on the system designings so we ensure that whatever we delivering the systems to the customer that's compliance with the security guidelines parameter policy on each and every layer from starting from where you are going to access from the mobile from the browser from the uh, user perspective then the network perspective then the application perspective server perspective data perspective in api perspective data storage perspective everywhere maybe your system are interacting to another system you are exchanging messages at the message level what the data exchanging what the message you are exchanging every places you have to ensure that secure the guidelines you have to meet so couple of uh, session i am going to think because the, this is the one of the core complex designs considerations we have to plan before finalizing our system designs so let's understand the meaning of security security is a very very uh, complex and big terms but uh, as a normal uh, as a application developer or uh, you can say software engineering teams generally not more focus on this security parameters due to that other team deployment team customer team data maintenance maintenance team devops teams everyone we they are going to focus on this so once our software system deliver to the customer we are not miss any security guidelines due to th this because every software engineer whenever they start learning to build applications they learn programming language they learn algorithm they learn the design pattern they learn the principle everything is very nice very very key essential to build any software 
but generally software developer engineers are not more so key interested about the security due to that security is the kind of a miss many many system designs and many 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 examples you google due to the security breach the company millions of dollar loss some data breach someone hack the system someone uh, access your internet network someone hack your data someone is stolen your uh, data and they have do lots of malicious works on your systems okay so please uh, if uh, we are not considering we have to study we have to read we have to figure out all the security parameter because nowadays our software industry is so matured so experienced dozens years of experience we have and lots of example nowadays we have available on the internet where due to the security breach lots of company lost the business customer have to pay lots of money due to the security breach security policy is not implemented properly so each and every organization nowadays are very key focus on the security every organizations whenever they are talking to the customer they are showing our security practices our security uh, parameters security attributes so it is not like a the very uh, general concepts it is uh, impact very very high in the terms of business revenue customer loss maybe system engineering team have it lost if they are not properly placed so be please be we as a system engineer try to emphasize this security concept and we have to not lots of things we have to learn because many many things on the security parameter as a general software engineer are not considered okay so let's talk so whenever you are talking security in the system design what do you mean generally refer a, refers the practices protocols and technology used to protect system so finally whatever the system i am designing objective is that we have to apply some technology practices protocol so that my system is protected from the cuts protected from the user for that this system is not intended to designs so lots in the in the internet whenever generally nowadays whatever the application you are uh, deployed on the that's are available on the internet and anyone can try to access your application right you millions of users are available can access your application so we have to ensure that this system is designed for the set of respected users on the internet those only restricted persons or user can able to access my system rest other worlds cannot access that this is the simple meaning whatever the system designs this systems you are designs for a specific set of users okay those users can properly access my system but for those this system is not designed they cannot access if we meet this criteria that means our application is secure okay so here our purpose of the sec uh, implementation security parameter in the system is to protect our system so generally system have a uh, one is the system one is the system i generally system have a some information some data because system is the by default uh, have some kind of informations which users are interested to read or which are interested to save my systems 
So we have to protect our complete systems and might be this database nowadays due to the distributed environment, cloud environments are stored in the different machine, different networks. So whatever the networks, whatever the server you are using, ensure that this data is also someone not going to read uh, uh, between the users and between the servers and between the database you are transferring data on your internet or the communication channel while the data transmission from the users to the server to the database during the communication channel we have to ensure that our data unintended person cannot read them cannot get them so we have to more talk about the data security data security is also one of the key parameter in the system designs and its users from the unauthorized access that means for whatever the our user uh, sending some data go to the server server going to the data fetching from the database okay and reading and responding okay so here our data a data are transferring from here go to the server and server sending to the here they are stored here again response back response back. so every layer we have to ensure that the whatever the masses whatever the data we are transfer user transfer user sending our user sending our right lots of devices maybe on computer maybe atm machines maybe sensor devices iot devices anyone generating data sending to the server and these data go to the store somewhere database storage capacity as from database so every layer we have to ensure the data for which this is the designs only specific uh, authorized persons are so if data is stored in the database is here so only there are some authorized people or persons are allowed to read this message. Okay. So we ensuring that our data, our system, our database, even this is the communication channel for which persons I am interested, only those party can read, can access. Other party cannot read cannot access the purpose of security practices is that we have to ensure that the system the data the information whatever the flowing between the internet network server router gateway database while all the moving part in the system no one can access the data and after the storage in the file system, database, anywhere, stored data, also unauthorized person cannot access. The objective is that we have to protecting our system, complete system. That means from user, from the system where data generated, the servers, the channel protocol, storage location, everywhere, no unauthorized users can access my data. If someone, let's assume, able to access my data, they have an option. They can disclose them, they can read and public the data. That's really, really not required. Maybe disrupt the data, maybe can uh, modify the data, maybe modification then, then destructions. So if unauthorized users or any application or any uh, hackers, if able to access your data they have a lots of options they can disclose them they can disrupt them they can modify them they can destruct them they can delete them properly we can lost millions of millions billions of users because nowadays lots of private data of the humans in the banking system in healthcare system in employee systems lots of financial data transactional data nowadays on are the electronic media electronic media that means on the computer computer that means can be accessible from the internet so very high risk for us system design engineer we have to ensuring that whatever the system i am delivering that is 
ensuring that some level of as possible our system is not accessible by any unauthorized party, person, hacker or any third party systems. Okay, so please keep this in the mind. This is a very, very key, key concept of the security. We have to ensure every layer of the system from the source from where source from where data is generated, maybe users, maybe any users, maybe any application, maybe any legacy application, maybe any IoT device maybe any third party server this source of data they generate data this data you are going to traverse on the internet on the internet you are uh, traveling on the internet on the internet and after that somehow go to the application server where data are processed modify uh, make one summarize and everything and after that again go to the internet and finally they are stored in the destinations okay the from source to destination every layer this is the destination also must be secure okay the, all the networks layer must be secure application they are processing that must be secure and source from data we are generating right intended person can generate data and receive data the every layer of the system we have to ensure only and only authorized entity can access my source of information or application or system this is the overall uh, objective of the security and this how a uh, system design engineer can meet this they have to read follow the security practices security lots of secure protocols we have and for the security we have a lots of technology available that help us we deliver very secure application or system to the customer okay and the overall uh, objective of the security is that we have to meet the confidentiality integrity and availability of the mass systems if cia confidentiality integrity and availability if we are able to meet that means our goal of security we are meet so we have to ensure that our system is confidentiality maintain and integrity maintain and availability mention many many times you uh, hear the news that hacker have hacked by server and they are not allow any other transactions any user can do so that means your server are hacked by someone and not allow anyone can do any operation that means during that time our system is unavailable for the right intended authorized user so availability is also one of the security benefits if your system is always available for authorized user that means your system is very secure so i'm going to talk more about the confidentiality what do you mean integrity what do you mean and the availability what do you mean so overall in this way if we may ensure that our system is confidentiality integrity and availability at times what about the business entity for which customers you are developing application delivering application they rely on in this through our system become reliability from the customer point of view customer rely on my systems okay so let's talk these are the basic uh, concept in the security uh, system designs so generally we have to ensure that our system must be maintain the confidentiality integrity availability and apart from that we have to also ensure that the our systems are only access 
by the right person and if the person is right the resources which are they are accessing the all the resources are accessed by the designated person not any other person might be many many uh, times you uh, go to the any office as a company right so let's say i'm an employee of my company i can i have a, my employee id card so i have a valid authorized entity user because i have my valid uh, company provided email uh, uh, access card so i can go inside the premises might be i can go to the canteen might be i go to my workstation might be i go to a server but there are lots of uh, uh, server offices maybe there is some offices for the hr some financial department some secure some kind of a, a surveillance department so might be i have a not right person i can go inside the my uh, check the financial data so i have a authorize or i have authenticated person the four first things we have if i have a id card that means i am authenticated person i can a valid user for this system i can access according to the my capability according to each access card have a some kind of capability some kind of roles allow maybe i am a developer i am engineer i am project manager i am senior manager i am finance manager or something so according to your roles you have to access your respective offices respective division in the so those known as authorizations so every resources whatever the company have lots of resources so each resources are not allowed to access each and every employee of the company so every employee is the authenticated meet right person valid person but every resources they cannot access because they are not authorized so these two authentication and authorization is also very very key concept in the security so we have to talk more but let's understand authentication authorization plus cia confidentiality integrity and availability if while designing we are ensuring that that means our systems is follow the security practices protocols and the related technology that meet the security guidelines so let's talk little bit about uh, our uh, confidentiality what do you mean by confidentiality confidentiality refer the ability to protect sensitive information from unauthorized access are used are disclosed to ensure that it only accessible to authorized individuals or systems that means so whatever the system you are designing and system have a different kind of a uh, uh, information available so we are ensuring that if the particular person systems request are very very authorized for the particular resources for the particular systems those can access that means we maintain the confidentiality let's say i am a simple software engineer my responsibility i can go to the my workstation and i my responsibility i can go to the my server to install that will but i have not right to go to the finance department to read and route or do modification i cannot uh, read the any other uh, financial uh, details of my the company so if i am able to access that means our system is not maintain the confidentiality because for the software engineering they have a only role they can go to the workstation where they can work and go to the server room where they can build and deploy the server that's okay but if still i am a valid user and i can go to access the financial detail hr detail this is that means our systems are not maintain the confidentiality 
कॉन्फिडेंशियल मीन्स की वट एवर द इन्फॉर्मेशन हैव दे आर डिसाइडेड दे आर फॉर स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ पीपल ओनली द स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ पीपल लेट्स की आवर फाइनेंस मैनेजर कम फाइनेंस मैनेजर कैन गो टू द व्यू एवरी एच आर मैनेजर कैन गो टू द व्यू द फाइनेंशियल डेटा या एच आर डेटा बट दे के नॉट गो टू द सर्वर रूम दे के नॉट गो टू द वर्क स्टेशन बिकॉज दिस इज नॉट इंटेंडेड पर्सन सो ओवर ऑल कॉन्फिडेंशियल मीन्स द सिस्टम यूजर विच इज द वैलिड यूजर फॉर दोज वट इज द ग्रांटेड वट आर द अलाउड रिसोर्सेस वट आर द अलाउड डेटा दे हैव ओनली दोज पर्सन कैन एक्सेस एंड अदर डेटा दैट के नॉट एक्सेस दैट मीन्स आवर सिस्टम ensure the confidentiality to confidentially add the data level add the system level add the communication level every security practices technologies we are going to use we have to ensure that our informations our data must be maintain the confidentiality similarly our system system is server room applications and the communication channel which communication channel is internet working networking where the data travels between the one system to another system so every level at least at three data level system level communication level we have to maintain confidentiality so that the data the information the system design build for which authorized person only those authorized person can access rest no one can access them. if system behave in this way you can say yes our system is maintain high level of confidentiality okay let's talk about the integrity what do you mean by integrity integrity is the ability to ensure the data is accurate complete and consistent and it is the protected from the unauthorized users for the modification deletion or alteration so here's now they more focus on the data part whatever the information is stored in the system maybe hr store all the employee details all the salary details all the financial details all the personal details so only specific hr or managers are responsible to see the data like other users other team member are not allowed so first things whatever the informations you are storing that must be accurate and complete and consistent let's keep first time today i ask hey what is the my salary our respected uh, system response me hey, your salary is this and after two hour again i check what is the my salary if my system give the different value that means our system is not consistent consistent means if a particular data is stored in my system and i am able to read many many times many many times always get the same value if my data is in the multiple distributor system and different different places i am going to read it there still all the remote locations we always we view see the latest and correct and consistent means ki let's see someone going to update my mobile number previously i am using xyz mobile number let us i can say so this is the dis dis distributed system someone can access from here someone can access from here right so this user can access my mobile number this user can be access my mobile number let's say i update my system here one system and at the moment i am reading from this server i am getting the different mobile number from here dif different mobile number here from different mobile number this means our data is not consistent in the case of distributed environment so in distributed environment we have to ensure that if some modification happen every places modification happen at the same time so that is means your data is consistent so integrity means we have to maintain accurate complete and consistent data 
to the authorized entity only and if anyone unauthorized can access they can be disturbed my system so we we are ensuring that our system maintain the high level of integrity that means whatever the system they are going to store informations that must be correct that must be complete and that must be consistent means across the distributed system across the multiple read and write operations always system display write updated value to every authorized user so here we have to ensure that our data accuracy and also ensure that no one can temper my data and maintain data consistency is the one of the very very key in the financial domain stock market domain and the all the uh, weather and also we have to ensure that whatever the compliance with a particular regulation in the industry maybe i am building the system for the telecom domains the telecommunication domain have a lot of security guidelines okay so we have our system have to comply the corresponding security regulatory let's we are building application for stock market the stock market have some lots of uh, guidelines we have to our system might be maybe we are building application for the medical industries medical industry have a lots of security guidelines we have to meet them so maybe you are going to the build the social media platform e-commerce platform so each industries have a some level of security guidelines so our systems is capable to integrate those security regulation and guidelines as talk if our application is secure that they must be available that means availability means a system or a networks or the application is accessible and usable when needed that we see they talk they talk about the your systems networks and the complete applications everything is accessible and usable one thing i am able to access but i am not able to perform something someone may be high system someone may be very system low i am not responding something so both thing available and accessible this is the accessible and must be usable when needed this name let's come into the user i want to check my banking details financial detail so i can access my system and check my balance every users any times they want they can access if it's done means our system is available millions of users accessing my application and each users whenever want they can access my application and they can use one is accessible i am able to see my application i am able to log in but i am not able to perform any business operation i cannot check balances i cannot transfer money that means our system is not eligible someone can be heavy loaded or not responsible so we have to ensure that our system is highly highly available okay and without any kind of availability means and also ensure that someone cannot hack your system not allowed any user can access maybe someone can hack your system and maybe shut down your system so we have to ensure that without interruptions and without down times to ensure the data and the services accessible to the only only authorized entity authorized user so if our system ensure the availability that means our business continue our ensuring our business continuities and we have to ensure that as possible as minimum time and improve the user experience and again we have to comply the regulation these are the basics uh, key you can uh, say the parameter of the security your system must be on maintain the high level of confidentiality integrity 
and availabilities. If we maintain this, then you can say, hey, we, our system is secure. The other two mechanics, always you talk about the authentication and authorization. So, let us talk here. Sometime uh, initial user or developer are confused. What do you mean by authentications and authorization? Authentications and authorization we talk. Let us so, authentication is the process to verifying the identity of user. Whatever the users, whatever the user is the valid user for my system, my, my applications or not. But generally, uh, we are validate any my user through the credential such as a username, password or biometric data or other form of identity. So generally, let's say whenever I am uh, uh, going to my office, my house, uh, my uh, website, any website, so somehow we have to verify our identity. I am the right user. So generally, these are the mechanisms you can say, hey, lots of authentication mechanism available making you can simple many many applications generally whenever application build you can ask username and password the username and password is a very very key authentication uh, parameters or tool the way you can meet the authentications so anyone can go into access my application my website if my application or my websites ask hey share your username and password that means our applications are meet the security guidelines many many times that is not the one time or two time if someone hacker going to try one time uh, wrong password another wrong password another wrong password so we have to ensure that our system is able to identify hey something unintended person is trying to access my the system okay many many times hey something some one time password authentication also hey your username and password right can you just share your one-time password? Generally, banking system, financial domain system, uh, use the one-time uh, password authentication as well as, hey, you have a right person because you have a right mobile, you have right, this is the right code. And many places, even uh, we know the username and password authentication, one-time password. Sometimes you can maybe use the multiple mode, maybe single authentication or two-page authentication and multi-factor authentication. Maybe, hey, here maybe first username and password, okay, then maybe one time passwords. So this is a combined two phase. Uh, nowadays, the application are going to build multi factor authentication. Hey, first place you type the username and password, it's okay, then check uh, mobile uh, one time password, mobile password, okay, then check the your uh, access card, you are right person or not, or maybe your biometrics. Thumb inspection. The multiple label of authentications are verifying the identity of an user. So these are the mechanisms, these are the protocols, are the way you can ensure you are going to implementing the authentication, maybe username and password or authentication, one time password, single or multiple, yeah, two or multi factor authentication, maybe biometric authentication, or maybe uh, particular smart card, identity card, ID card, generally bigger organization like any private organization or government organization or a school, generally they are uh, one, uh, once the particular right person join his organizations, they have a uh, generate SM access card. So, always they are not asking username and password or mobile password, just access card, so your access card and right person. The different mode you can say, the way you are going to authenticate user means authenticate means simple way whatever the my system this is the my system whatever the my system this is the system any person are try to access my system so somehow this my system are ensure that this is the right person so how to know this is the right person to verify the identity of this person from the username, from password, from one-time password, multi-factor authentication, biometric, access card, something this person, this identity person, they have to show, they have to give, hey, I am the right user for you. If my system is ensuring that, that means, hey, 
our system implemented the authentication and for this lots of uh, protocols and standard already in the market we have nowadays we can use oauth2 is a protocol used to for authorization and authentications in a web and mobile application generally nowadays all the web application and mobile application can use oauth is the protocol many many uh, in houses in the premises as building a some person still are using the ldap lightweight directory access protocol to use to ensure that uh, the right uh, authentication mechanism is implemented maybe many places we are using the radius protocol radius is a remote authentication dialing user service is a protocol used to remote access hey some uh, one application try to access another application the remote authentication authorization also you can say these are protocols maybe you can use ldap or you can the radius or you can the different uh, uh, also you can use the the this is the various uh, kind of uh, widely used authentication uh, protocol this is the ticket based uh, system to verify the identity so you can say huge this is as i mentioned little bit but for the authentication lots of practice protocol technology available to us to ensure that our system is meet the authentication process once user is authenticated the next steps come the authorizations the first things any users come each and every user must be demonstrate must be so his identity if they show the identity and we our system can validate hey this is the right person right entity that second role come is authorization because in the organization in the system lots of resources we have maintain lots of data we have lots of kind of different different data we have so might be every users every person not design are not provided to access every data in the system so here every users given some role base so here you can say authentication is the process to verify the identity of user in the system and ensure that uh, uh, from the whatever the roles process and the username and password through biometrics and generally uh, here they are following this the authorization maybe a role based authorizations or you can say attribute based authorizations or you can say centralized or decentralized authorizations. so many many organizations uh, you can say uh, we have a uh, what different role you can say okay each uh, role base uh, permission base access base these are the kind of uh, authorization process we have uh, similarly once your system is authorized means the particular person have allowed to access this data that means this have a capability or this have a role so you can say the authorizations you can say the first user must be authenticated authenticated and then authorization authorization means the right person they have a role they have a capability they have a right to access this data okay so again they have a lots of protocol you can use oauth protocol or you can use the open i open id connect protocol or you can use the sml security assertion markup language or you can again use so in this case for the authorization we also oauth oauth2 is the oauth have a multiple version oauth and oauth2 protocols these are the very very commonly used for the all the mobiles and web application and but sometime you can use the open connects uh, also connect the protocol used to auth authentication authorization for the mobile and web application maybe the saml also is kind of a, is a protocol for use for the authentication and authorization so lots of uh, just go uh, to the lots of uh, available content available on the internet whatever the system you are building please ensure that uh, these systems are accessed by the authenticated person means right person 
identi uh, identified person, designated person, and similarly, when we have a lots of uh, resources in the system, and which users, maybe this user have access only these two resources, they can only access these two resources. This can be accessed these uh, two resources. This is only can access the two. So, authorization and authentication. First, your every user must be authenticated, and once authentic authentication, then we have to plus apply the authorization means role, permission, capability. If this person is capable, a right person to access this department data, this financial data, this uh, banking data, all the data. Okay, so both are uh, play a very very critical role for authentication and authorization mechanism. If you place them authentication and authorization, you can say some level of security guidelines you already meet. So this is the very very big uh, concept or topic in the security in the system design. So at least uh, the objectives of our uh, security in the system design, your system must be ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability. Okay, uh, this is the main generally this can be made from the authentication means the right person plus authorization that means they have a role and capability to access the specific resources in the system okay so let's uh, read out uh, let's understand this authentication and authorization and good part is that these are the very very basic security guidelines and these guidelines come from the years of years and nowadays our software industries are so much experience lots of application already we have built almost you accessing any uh, your uh, applications already you, we have built this authentication authorization and these are the protocols that we are using so this is not a very new things for you let's just explore out if you not let's understand how authentication happen how authorization happen which protocol which technology, which practices we have to understand and implement in our systems. So, hope this information is helpful for you.